Hey there, and welcome to the Dunder Mifflin IT department. This is the second episode of the IT department. And in this episode, we are going to discuss how to enable Microsoft Entra Azure Active Directory Authentication Strengths. Authentication Strengths is a new option, which is currently in preview in Azure AD, which allows you to define what kind of multi-factor authentication you want your users to use in what situation. So before we get into the technical demo on this matter, let me first say thank you for watching this video. I hope you will find it very informative. And if you do, please like and subscribe to the channel in order to help the channel out. Now, also, what I want to mention is that I do a lot of these videos and demos by request. So if you have any topics related to Azure Active Directory or Office 365 or Azure Resource Manager, then please let me know in the comments section down below, and I will be glad to record those demos for you. So without further ado, Let's get started into the technical content for this demo, which is about Microsoft Entra Azure Active Directory Authentication Strengths. Enjoy! So here we are in the Dunder Mifflin tenant that I created just for this demo. Now in this environment, what we'll see here is the Entra Admin Center. I open up Azure Active Directory and one of the options is protect and secure. And within there, you can select authentication methods. If you go into authentication methods, here you will find the authentication strengths option. As you can see, there is three different already created authentication strengths. And there is also some conditional access policies that may be using this. So what we see, for example, for traditional multi-factor authentication, this policy allows us to select what type of multi-factor we want to approve for certain destinations like Exchange Online or Teams. Here we can see that there's an OR statement and a lot of them, which basically goes and creates a policy that allows us to do any type of multi-factor authentication. Now, another option is passwordless MFA. With passwordless multi-factor authentication, only the options that are indeed passwordless are selected, but still the user can choose any one of these. Third, there is phishing resistant MFA, which only allows physical types of multi-factor authentication to be used. Phishing resistant means that you cannot allow someone else to sign in for you, for example, by phone or email. So there must be a physical factor here. Now, one of the things you could do as well is create your own new authentication strength. First, you can go and name it. So let's say I'm gonna name this my Dunder Mifflin authentication, authentication strength. And with that, I will then go and maybe add a subscription. And next we can make our decisions on how this has to be fixed for that user. For example, we can allow multi-factor authentication. We may want to allow FIDO2 security keys, which even gives us a couple of extra options where we can add some keys to select from, if that is what you require. Oh, okay. Let's try again. So let's go and name that same the Nomiflin authentication strength. So we want to choose Windows Hello, FIDO2 maybe, maybe I want to allow phone sign in, and I want to allow temporary access passes, maybe a password and SMS option, and so on. So here with that, we make our selection. This is going to create our own authentication strength. And once this is created, the next way is to implement this to make sure it works. So for example, we could create a conditional access policy. Now I could require multi-factor authentication for all users, which is a policy I previously created, which basically goes and say, hey, any of my users except my 
uh, a certain break glass account for any cloud application without any conditions selected i'm going to choose that i want to grant access but i want to require multi-factor authentication that would be the default type of policy but instead of this i want to make use of that authentication strength so what i'll do is i will uncheck this one and i'm going to check the authentication strength here we have the options that we created earlier and i'm going to choose my own authentication strength which is that the nomiflin one by this just by doing this and by saving that solution here my new authentication strength is been used has been created as well so that allows us to define how users are going to perform multi-factor authentication whenever they sign in into any thing that is related to Microsoft 365 or any other application because of that. And that is exactly what we are doing when it comes to authentication strength. Hopefully you have found this instruction useful. If so, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions or comments, please put them in down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I was Alex Young, and well, see you in the next video here at Dunder Mifflin IT Department.